Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And in this video, for those of you who haven't read the title just yet, today we are comparing the Nike PG3 versus the Adidas Dame 5s. Let's get it. Firstly, massive shout out to the family over at Pro Rate Basketball for sending these through. We highly appreciate it. Always. If you would like your pair of either the PG3s or the Dame 5s, head over to the description box below, click the link, and Proderick Basketball will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video and show your support. It helps us out so, so much. So keep doing it if you guys already are, and if you're not, get to it. And of course, comment down below which shoe you prefer even before watching the video. And lastly, don't forget to hit that big, red, beautiful button that says subscribe on it. And of course, the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. You're gonna wanna do that. Safe. Damian Lillard is one of the most explosive scorers in the NBA today. Right. However, he's also one of the more underrated players in the league. His shoe is a complete reflection of that. 100%. In my personal opinion, I think Timmy agrees too, the Dame 5 is one of the best shoes on the market today. Oh yeah. But in comparison to other basketball shoes, it is highly underrated. Paul George, even though he's been in the NBA for a minute now, mm. he's one of the more recent signature athletes. Yeah. And in my personal opinion, I think this is one of the most consistent shoes in the market today. I'm with you on that opinion. I'm with you on that. Absolutely incredible shoe. Long overdue. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First things first, talking about the aesthetics. Which one of these shoes looks better? Okay, now on this side, the PG3 is clean. Just like the rest of its line, the one and the two are to the point, no frills, and just look fantastic. An array of colorways makes the shoe look even nicer, and the same applies to the Dame Vibes as well. So it's a bit of a tricky one. They've both got colorways on deck, 100%. Yeah. The Dame also has some new materials in some colorways. Lots of stories that go with the Dames as well. But if I had to pick one, it's a Dame 5 thing. It's a Dame 5 thing. Dame 5s look Lean. Yeah. I think that's the, that's the first point. The first point go that side. Easy. That's fine. Next up, talking about traction, over here in the Dame 5, we have Herringbone. And it got the job done. Always. As Herringbone always does. And what I like about the Dame 5s especially is that the grooves aren't as tight, mm -hmm. which means I spend less time collecting dust. Yep. Which means I spend less time wiping my shoe. True. Which means I spend more time concentrating on the game. That's right. It's just a whole better experience, really and truly. I mean, the Dame 5 Herringbone Traction just gets the job done. I mean, and it allows you to play your game. Better than what? What are you trying to say there? You're trying to say better than? Just better than most shoes. Most shoes being? Just every other shoe. Okay. You know. Okay. Okay. Over on this side on the PG3, we had the Octopus Suction Traction Pattern, which also did an absolute madness. Even though it looks like just a whole bunch of dust pockets, it didn't actually pick up that much dust, which is amazing when playing on dusty courts, or just any court to be honest, because all courts have some dust on them. However, there was low amounts of wiping needed and it just bit the floor like a madness. Yeah. I love playing in these. The bite was so, so nice. Every move, the step backs, the defensive slides, everything just felt amazing. Yeah. And for that reason, and for all those reasons, I think it trumps the Dame 5. I think so too. Yeah? Yes, I do. I'm not surprised. So I don't know what you're talking about better because, huh, huh, okay. So next up, talking about the cushioning. Now here in the PG3, we've got that four foot zoom with a cord out phylon carrier. Now this has been seen in all of the PG lines so far and it's been tweaked along the way. Now in the PG3, I personally think it's the best rendition we've seen so far. Mm. It felt amazing. It's a thicker unit in the forefoot and that midsole as well felt super nice underfoot. Now it is just a carrier, so it helps with that impact protection in the heel because all that good zoom is all up in this side in the forefoot. It's responsive, it's close to ground, it feels so, so nice and it's comfortable by everything else. So I'm messing with it a lot. But do you mess with it as much as you mess with the Dame 5 cushioning, Timmy? Do I? Tell us. You tell us, Flo. Why should we mess with the Dame 5 more? Because we have bounce, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good point. Bounce cushioning. That's a good point. It's absolutely incredible. I can only say amazing things about it. You have everything you need in a basketball shoe. You have impact protection, you have court feel, you have response, and above everything, you have comfort. Comfort is key. 
and it all comes deep. from this full length oh, wow. bounce oh, foam wow. which feels absolutely beautiful not only do you have it in the forefoot timmy you also have it in the heel why do you break it down like that you have it everywhere i get that i get okay i see what you're doing there i see what you're doing there so, so i think zoom. we okay. can both come to an agreement chill back and agree agreement. that the cushioning in the dame five is better chill about agreement chill, 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 chill. i see what you're doing there you know it's four foot zoom you're talking about full length on that side like it's the same thing all right so which is better then dame five for the best though. thank you very much i can't even front too much Front. Next up, talking about the materials in both these shoes, over here in the Dame 5, we have a textile mesh construction in the forefoot, and in the back of the shoe, we have a synthetic suede, and it's also present on the tongue as well. They felt really nice. Yep. They required minimal breaking time out the box, mm -hmm. which you know we both love. That's right. And I'm sure you guys do too. 2019. 2019, we want to spend all our time breaking our shoes in. Yeah. And the Dame 5 provides that for us, it requires minimal breaking time. In the PG3, we have a textile mesh construction along with a medley of overlays to help as well. So you've got synthetic suede along with nylon in those high wear areas to again come together to give you that amazing feeling when trying this shoe out. Yep. Now, breaking time was pretty low. It wasn't super quick, it wasn't zero. It was very, very low. It just felt really, really nice, hugged the foot really well, which we'll talk more about next. But the materials on this shoe came together in the best possible way. We've seen it throughout the PG line, so the consistency comes through yet again. Now, with that being said, the point has to go to the PG3. It does. It just has to. It doesn't have to, but it does. It just has to. Moving swiftly on into the fit of both of these shoes. Now, the PG3 is a great fitting shoe. Starting off, first off, it's true to size. Yes. And I just talked about how the materials work all together to give you a nice, snug fit. They hug the foot really, really well. And then, after all of that, with the materials and the hugging, the lacing system is still left to go. This lacing system is not a joke. It's an absolute experience, we like to say on this channel, for sure. The materials also are kind of intertwined into the laces, and every time you kind of pull on them, you feel the shoe hug your foot in each different compartment. It feels amazing from the jump. It's a great fitting shoe. It's a great fitting shoe and I don't know what you're gonna say to try and sway me to that side because it's just not gonna happen. I don't need to sway you to this side to me because the fit in the Dame 5 is absolutely beautiful. I get that, I'm it, not saying it's it, not. Okay. It caters for almost everybody. Okay. Now when we look at one end of the foot type spectrum, Timmy, we have the people who have really difficult feet to fit i.e. yourself. Oh, you are one of those coming. people whose feet are shaped differently and should require special care. Special However, care. the shoe caters for you. And we look at the other end of the spectrum, people who have normal type feet, like myself, the shoe takes care of me as well. So if the shoe took care of Timmy, who was all the way over there, and it took care of me too, I'm pretty sure it took care of them as well. So the fit is just amazing to me because it takes care of everybody. Fam, you know what? I'm not even disputing you on that. I'm not. It's a great fitting shoe. It is an amazing fitting shoe. But it's not a better fitting than the PG3. It's not a better fitting than the PG3, no. See? You took all that good stuff and you, you know it's on this side. Because you came at me, bro. I didn't come at you. You came at me. Oh, you're upset, bro. You always come at me, but you see? He's upset because you're losing, that's why. You're losing. He's upset. Let's talk about support then. I didn't talk about support. You want to talk about support? Support. Go on, talk about talk, support. Talk support. Over here in the Dame 5, the oh, support sorry. comes from this TPU barrier that along with the outrig of the shoe, they support you laterally. As they should. We okay. have this internal TPU heel counter, yep. which makes sure my heel is locked in. Counters the heel. Cool. Again, amazing. And then the overall lockdown of the shoe, which is also extremely important cool. to make sure your foot is locked in and doesn't go anywhere. I mean, you've got a lot of things going on in here today. I hear that, I hear that. Which make this shoe not only one of the most supportive shoes on the market today, but arguably the best supportive shoe for guards. Full stop. I mean, that's nice. That's, that's just great. What, what can you really tell me about this? I can tell you all the same things. We've got an outrig on this side too. The lacing system is second to none. I'm telling you this because all the materials come together as part of support as well. Right. We got one of those counter hill things. Got one of those too. Is it TPU? It's TPU as well. Right, got one of those. They, they, this thing here counters all the heels. Got one of those. And overall, there is a lockdown that comes with the shoe. 
and it feels next level. It's buff. Okay. You can't tell me it's not. And you're talking about, yeah, great, best for guys. This is an all round support right here. Okay. All round. All round support. What's up? What's up? Is it, is it better than the Dame 5? You're asking questions now. I'm asking the only question. You're asking the only question. I get that. I'll, I'll say it. I'll, you know, I'll say it before you do. The one thing missing, yeah, is that TPU barrier, yeah? We ain't really got one on this side, yeah? It doesn't say that the virtual support is bad. We just ain't got one of those. That was you, really nice on that. Could you answer the question, please? This is really, really nice on that. I really enjoyed it. So the support between the two shoes is? I just really enjoyed that TPU barrier. The Dame Fives. It's really nice. It's really Last but not least, my favourite category of these comparisons, <laughs> the price. The Dame 5 is priced at £90. A lovely £90. It's pounds. a great number. That is a fantastic number. And over here, the PG3s is priced at £105, which also isn't too bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at it's all. Not, it's not the sweet spot that we love. It's not. It's nice though. It's all right. I think it's pretty easy to see that the Price, value for money, now goes to the Dame 5. Now I'm with you. It's £15 pounds cheaper. You get better cushioning. You get better support. Yeah. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same. I don't know about exactly, chill. <laughs> it's better value for your money than the PG3s for sure. Exactly. That's 100%. Right. I'm with you on value. I'm with you. The Dame stands under £100, pounds, whereas the PG is just above and I know that for anyone out there looking for a new pair of shoes and maybe doesn't want to break the bank, I'm saying this now, I can even say this, the Dame 5 is easily maybe the best value shoe on the market, hands down, say no more. Less than 100 pounds? I can't, I can't. There's nothing I can say. I don't care how good the shoe is, it's less than 100 pounds. I can't. And you get changed. No, I'm upset. You no, get changed, I get bro. changed. Yeah. So you can leave your house, go get some Dames, and then go get a young... Five Guys or a McDonald's or even a salad oh, if you wanted to. Of course. And just sit there with your names. Of course. All in one day. Nah. Probably with more change. Nah, 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 nah. Just, nah, nah, nah. Okay. I ain't got nothing more to say. You're, you're on page now. Well done. I'm fully on page. I'm in the book, bro. Now, overall, look at the score. The Dame Five has come out on top by the skin of its teeth, Timmy. Winning by 4-3. This shoe was able to come out on top because of its amazing cushion system. Bounce has always done the job and it will continue to do so. It will. The shoe is also extremely supportive, one of the best supportive shoe for guards. And on top of that, it is priced lower than the PG3s and it looks better too. What more do you want? That last part was cheeky. That last part was very cheeky. I'm only for that. But I had to throw it in there. Throw it in there anyway. But anyway, all that being said, by no means is the PG3 a bad shoe. The traction is second to none and the fit is one of the best fitting shoes on the market fully. So you could go either way. Yes, better value for money on that side. But if you had a little bit more, why not go for the PG? You're going to be good. All right, guys, there you have it. Thanks again to Polaric Basketball for sending these through. If you would like your pair of either the Dame 5s or the PG3s, head over to the description box below, click the link and Perfect Basketball will take care of you. But before you do that, as per usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video and show your support as you guys already have. Comment down below if you agreed with us, if it was a Dame 5 thing or if it's a PG3. And of course, hit that subscribe button and hit that notify bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. So all right, guys, that's it from us. This is the Nike PG3. This is the Adidas Dame 5. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.